IPL is a light treatment that IPL stands for intense pulsed light. That's what IPL stands for. IPL works to get rid of browns and red tones. So when you're talking about your face, neck, chest, arms, upper back, anywhere where you have brown freckling from sun damage or even brown that has occurred because of hormonal treatments such as uh, birth control pills or even pregnancy. A lot of women get what's called a pregnancy mask, which is kind of like a blotch of brown either on their forehead or their upper lip or their cheek area. So that's a treatment to get rid of that. So the reds and the browns, we're talking about the tone of somebody's skin color. So your tone just isn't even. So a lot of people will come in and say, you know, how do I brighten things up or freshen things over? And if it's a color problem, then you do the IPL. The IPL, the brown spots that are from the sun damage, the freckling. And they can be very, very teeny tiny or they can be a little bit larger. So some people have a combination of both. So both the reds and the browns are what IPL works to get rid of. IPL is hot. So it's just kind of like a little hot snap against the skin. It's completely tolerable. Annoying, but tolerable. So the whole face, say, let takes maybe about five minutes. And then if you're adding in neck and chest, maybe that's another seven to 10 minutes. So all in all, it's about 15 minutes if you're doing face, neck, and chest, which usually people don't do all of that. They'll mainly kind of concentrate on their face. My husband, on the other hand, who I had done it to for some brown spots on his cheek, he said it felt like a hot light bulb against his face, but I think he was kind of exaggerating, although he's a guy, no offense. So. Um, the hot snap, the hand piece is like a rectangle and you only kind of feel the heat in one area. So even though you're only feeling the heat in one area, the, the hand piece size is a big triangle. So I can actually cover a lot of surface area very quickly with that. So, you know, it's five minutes, not a big deal. IPL does have a couple side effects, possible side effects. Not everybody gets them. So I'll just quickly talk about that. But like I said, the, the side effects are few and far between. If you go to somebody who's not used to doing IPL, so that is not us because we are used to doing IPL, we've been doing it for over 10 years. If somebody takes the handpiece over a little bit of your eyebrow or into your hairline, it can actually singe your hair a little bit. <laughs> not funny, but uh, I had it done actually when I was getting one of the medical assistants to do my IPL because I didn't have anybody else to do it, so she did it a little bit. But it grew right back, but we all know what we're doing. So all the providers are the ones that do the IPL and we know not to go over your hair. So don't worry about that. But that is one problem if you have somebody who's not trained doing your IPL, if you go to a Medispa or something like that. So the other side effect that can sometimes happen, I had it happen to me once, is a very, very superficial burn. Um, Again, it's not your whole face. If it happens, it usually just happens along an area where there's like a contour. So I had like kind of a little bit of like scabby, peely skin afterwards for a couple of days. But again, it, you're not, don't have any scarring. It just kind of sloughs off and you're good to go again. So technically a burn, but when I say a burn, that sounds horrendous. We're not talking some blistery burn. We're talking just some kind of superficial scaliness or scabbiness, especially for concentrating in an area where you have a lot of damage. Usually for most people, we say anywhere from one to four treatments are necessary in any given area. Usually one to two, everybody should get one to two. So we see with one how much damage, whether it be the browns or the reds, we can get rid of. Then the next time you have it done and we know that you can tolerate the procedure, we go up on the energy a bit and clean up the rest of it. What usually happens to people with specifically the redness, so the background redness, whether it be cheek redness or nose, uh, sometimes chin, but usually it's with people, uh, the nose and cheek area, that's where it can definitely take anywhere from two to four to get rid of the red. So it's faster to get rid of the brown than it is the red, so I do see that problem. So anywhere from two to four treatments is usually required. So the body areas that we usually treat, face is the most commonly done, but patients will come in to me and say, I have this rash on my neck. I say, no, it's, it's not a rash, it's actually sun damage. You'll start to see like redness or blotchiness there. And again, it, it's kind of something that slowly was developing over time. So it's like patients don't notice it until all of a sudden it came up overnight, but it didn't come up overnight. 
but it's called poikiloderma and it's from sun damage. So we can actually do that area as well. And then chest, people do a ton from just their sun damage. Um, women with their bathing suits and different tops and shirts, even if you go on a cruise or a boat and you just have a regular v-neck shirt on, you'll be able to tell what kind of bathing suits you've worn over the years or what kind of shirts you've worn over the years because it's permanently embedded in the shape of your sun damage. So we can even all that out. So the chest and upper back is very commonly done, especially thinking about women and um, you know, say one of their children getting married, they have a cute dress, or even the bride themselves, you know, say they're getting married in the summertime and they want to wear a strapless dress and they have all this sun damage and you can see the old tan lines that are permanently there from their bathing suits. We can even that all out. Um, so really the most common face, neck, chest, upper back. You can do the arms, they just take a while, but we can do that as well. People always ask me, can I go out in the sun after I have this done? And I, I hesitate because I'm like, well, no, well, yeah. People ask because they think that they can't physically go out in the sun afterwards or like something bad is going to happen, like they'll burn. Something physically wrong is not going to happen if you go out in the sun afterwards. It just kind of defeats the purpose. You can go out in the sun afterwards. You just have to be really good about wearing your sunscreen after that or else the sun damage that you just got rid of, you're just going to re-accrue. So you can go out in the sun afterwards. You just have to make sure you're wearing the right sunscreen and you're being thoughtful about the times that you're out. You know, Try not to be out between the hours of 10 and two or three, I think they even say now, um, and cover up, you know, wear a hat, wear UPF clothing, sunscreen clothing. So just be more cognizant of caring for the effects that you've gotten from the IPL. So you don't just want to get the IPL done, get rid of all that sun damage, and then go out in the sun again or go down the shore and sit on the beach and bake in the sun. Um, that would be pointless and we don't really want you to do that anyway. So yes, you can go out in the sun, but you just really want to be more thoughtful about it.